In the roofing industry, we almost primarily deal with two types of decking. One is OSB, one is plywood. My name is Billy Houston, I'm with Colony Roofers. Today we're gonna to go over the difference between OSB and plywood, talk about how they hold up against each other and uh, the benefits of either. Roof decking, also called sheathing sometimes, is one of a roof's most important structural elements. Roof decking is the foundation of a roof and what attaches it to a home. The decking attaches to the trusses, covers the rafters, and supports the weight of your shingles. Two of the most popular choices, most common that we see day to day, are plywood and OSB. Let's take a look at some of the key differences uh, in the two so we can make an informed decision on which one to choose. So what is plywood? Plywood is a wooden sheet that's created by cross-laminating layers of wood veneer. To make plywood strong, they use a process called cross-graining. Cross-graining is the practice of positioning each layer so that the grain goes a different way. So on this one, the grain goes up and down, the middle layer will come left to right, and the grain on the back side also goes up and down. Plywood is also created, oftentimes created, with an odd number of layers to keep it true so that the front and back layer are going the same direction. It also keeps the center of the plywood strongest. Plywood comes in different grades, thicknesses, uh, as well as being made from many different materials. And what is OSB? OSB stands for Oriented Strand Board. OSB is an engineered decking uh, product similar to plywood and that it is made out of wood. It does have a couple major differences. The biggest is how they're put together. To make OSB, strands are mixed together with resin and interleaved together in thick sheets. The sheets are then bonded together using heat and pressure. Just like plywood, you can get OSB in several different thicknesses, uh, different sizes, the most common for both being four by eight. What are the main differences between OSB and plywood? The main difference between OSB and plywood is the manufacturing process. There's other important differences uh, to consider as well when looking at one versus the other. Most uh, importantly is gonna be cost, weight, moisture resistance, strength, off-gassing, environmental friendliness, delamination. There's a lot of different factors when choosing plywood or OSB. Let's take a closer look at each of these, try to make an informed decision. All right, the biggest uh, difference between the two is gonna be cost. Cost is probably one of the main things that people consider when looking at the, at the difference between OSB and standard plywood. Uh, OSB is gonna be about 33% cheaper on average, and that's using a standard four by eight foot sheet as an example. Another big factor when, when making a choice between OSB and plywood is weight. Plywood tends to be significantly lighter than OSB. This is because of the manufacturing process. The resin seems to, tends to make uh, OSB a lot heavier. Uh, a piece of four by eight plywood can weigh up to 67 pounds on average, uh, as where the same size sheet, four foot by eight foot OSB can weigh up to 78 pounds. Weight's an important factor to consider, particularly in a roofing project. Because OSB weighs more overall, it could be putting too much stress on the trusses and support of your home. Moisture resistance. When talking about moisture resistance, plywood is the better material. OSB does take longer to become saturated when wet due to the density of the material, but because of this, it also takes a lot longer to dry. OSB will also swell more than plywood when it gets wet. And while plywood returns to its original thickness when it dries, OSB is permanently swollen. This is because the wood chips are pressed together so tightly when, during manufacturing that when they get wet, that pressure is released. As far as strength goes, plywood and OSB are very similar. This plywood is stiffer by a small degree, roughly 10% than, than OSB. This doesn't make a huge difference, all things considered, but nails and screws are more likely to remain in place over time when using plywood. Right, Off-gassing. 
As with many building materials, particularly ones that are made out of resin and glue, OSB and plywood both off-gas formaldehyde. OSB off-gasses slightly more than plywood. Uh, any construction material made with glue or laminates are, you, are typically stored outside for several weeks to allow uh, formaldehyde to off-gas properly. As long as these precautions are taken, the risk from off-gassing is minimal in both materials. Environmental friendliness is a big concern amongst a lot of people. Environmental friendliness is an area where OSB wins over plywood. OSB is made of wood chips, which allows the use of smaller trees and the whole tree, smaller trees that can be farmed. Plywood requires larger trees to be made, and these usually need to be harvested from old growth forests. For these reasons, OSB is widely considered to be a more green building material than plywood. Delamination is a big issue as well. Here's where you'll find another advantage OSB has over plywood. Plywood is made up of layers with ch and with changing weather conditions, heat and humidity, these layers can separate, which we call delamination. OSB is not made of layers, therefore is not susceptible to this issue. In conclusion, looking at plywood versus OSB, it's hard to give a definitive answer on which one is better. Both materials are good options for roof decking. Now that you've learned a little bit of the pros and cons of each, uh, I hope you can make an informed decision when, when choosing what's best for you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Colony Roofers. My name's Billy Houston, and thanks for watching.